This is what the boys came to. Oh my An God. absolute massacre. Little holes in the side of these chicks. Not one alive. Some shoved in the corner over there. Some shoved in the corner over there. There's a big hole right there underneath the wall. The boys said they saw a rat. You came out here and there was a rat in there? Mm-hmm. Like a rat, not a mouse. A rat. Yes. How big? Really big. Oh my gosh. That's why he ate a lot of meat. Okay. So he's pretty fat. Let's get our bucket and get dust these chickens off and put them in a bucket. For the it's now Saturday and we've got the... That happened what? When was that? That happened Thursday night, just Josiah? Yes, yeah. Okay. So we have these. Grandma went and got us some mega rat traps. And we got a small rodent cage. The problem is we have a rat that ate a hundred chicks. Well, he killed a hundred. McMurray Hatchery is so kind to send us another hundred, but we gotta catch this rat before they get here. It's just gonna happen all over. Some chicken carcasses. We're gonna just scrape some meat off of that from tonight's supper. Setting these traps are nerve wracking. Especially without your right hand. Look at that. Like, look at that. This is a half inch plank. Let's go ahead and bait it first and then pull the trap on it. I'm serious about catching this rat. Do not step on that. That'll cut your toes off. Oh, snap. We have to shut the door. How are we going to keep the cats out of it? Lock the door. Okay. You don't think they can get in there? I don't think so. Okay. Here. You take that and maybe you'll be happy. Okay, and then you won't be hunting this. All right, I think we have it set, Josiah. Here, did it work? Yeah. All right. I know it won't. Okay, it's definitely gonna work. It's gonna work. Is that trap big enough for that rat? You saw it. I think so. Oh, okay. We set our trap, two, my, two, two traps, and then a rodent trap. And Josiah lift this up, and oh my gosh, it's <laughs> no got a hoard. Okay. Oh, it's dick. Let's, yeah, let's get it out of here. After me getting sick, not taking any more chances, rubber gloves to get these guys out of there. Tomorrow's the 4th, which we will document in this video. We'll have, hopefully we're going to have us a, a rat tomorrow, Josiah. A rat. Maybe even two. Maybe or even curry. They've been gnawed on by rats, and they're three days old at this point. We're going to feed the forest. And don't worry, we shut both stall doors, so I don't think the cat can get in there. That'd be terrible. My wrist continues to get ever slightly better, although now this morning I got a kink in my neck and pain in the ball of my feet. You know what's interesting about the kink neck and the pain in the ball of my feet is these are similar pains I've had before in the past. We've attributed it to my Lyme disease, so uh, we are starting to think and wonder is all this reactive uh, arthritis explaining some of the pains I've had in the past? And the reactive arthritis is in response to the Lyme disease? Maybe. It doesn't help us much because you still have to heal the Lyme disease to heal the uh, reactive arthritis. Do you think we have any? No. I'm surprised. Not not one trap is, is caught. Nope. We set. Uh, the problem is, we got chicks coming. If we don't catch those rats, we're in trouble. Nothing. Okay, let's pick up in here though. This is embarrassing. If our goal is a good time with friends tonight, that means critical tasks are clean the house, break in the grill, make the mayonnaise, pound cake, good catch. Uh, you could, you well, we, you mean we will in just a minute. Not, not that's not a first task. Let's keep thinking of the critical task. Are there anything else we need to make, or is all we need to make is mayonnaise? And well, the mac and cheese is already made. We got the mac and cheese made. We got the hamburgers. Hamburgers patty. are patty. 
So I think that's probably pretty, that's probably a very achievable goal. Anything yet? I smell gas. I smell poop. Help! It's over on this side. Ew, right here. Oh, I know. Wow. Get, get here. A, here. Get something. Help! It's all over me. Here. Wow, he's unloaded. Big one. That's what happens when you don't go for a couple days, Henry. <laughs> you chewing on that toe? Is that good? I finally get to try my father's day. Hey, don't we have enough injury around here? I mean, look at this. We need to do a break in fire. We've got smoke. That's good. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Which, that's super cool. Jonah, can you shut this for me? My hand's not gonna let me do it. That's gonna be super cool where you could actually grill and smoke. At the same be time? Best of both worlds. Rebecca, that's the coolest Father's Day present ever. Oh. You can grill and smoke on that thing at the same time. I wish you liked to smoke flavor a little bit more. All right. I'll be topping it all off with a little bit of smoke. Just making ice cream. Pound cake. Look at this score of lettuce they just pulled out of the garden. That's a little much, but we'll take it. This is so a big. cheese cutter. So start over here and push down. Push down. There you go. Okay, and then do one up there so it's even. Well, I'd say we did it. We're at like 640. And we've went a good 30 minutes. Let's turn it all off. Fireworks were scaring off the cow. That's not even us, that's the neighbors. The cows and the sheep broke through the fence, chased them, got them back in. Whether our party's over or not, theirs isn't. So we're gonna try to put them in the trailer. Narrowly missed them. All right, we got them in a trailer. They walked right in with alfalfa, all of them. We were not able to catch Maple, you can't see her right there. We were able to catch Polly, put her on a rope, hauled her on a tree. We're gonna let, look, you can hear fireworks going on all around. So we're just gonna keep them up for the next hour. Oh, you got a can I have one? Can I have one? Yep, there you go. Over there? All right, that's a night. We'll go let the sheep back out into the pasture. Hope everyone had a happy 4th of July. 